Chainsaw Man Episode 1 just aired today, the most hyped up anime release of the year, and MAPPA did not disappoint. This is Denji and his trusty chainsaw dog devil named Pochita. Denji owes an extraordinary amount of debt to the Yakuza, a debt that his father accumulated before he died. So he starts selling off his organs and fighting devils for any money that he can just simply so he can eat. He's extremely kind to his little devil Pochita, often telling him stories of his goals, dreams, and aspirations. But when Denji is betrayed by the Yakuza and a psychotic zombie devil, Pochita gives Denji his heart, turning him into Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is easily going to win anime of the year, in my opinion. Hi guys, I'm Mastar, and welcome to the Chainsaw Man episode one review. Oh my God, this is some next level anime. I mean, MAPPA literally took it to the next level. The most, I think, aesthetically pleasing anime I've ever seen in my life, but it's so much more than that. So let's dive in. Right off the bat, you can tell that they're implementing some really high-tech state-of-the-art animation technology. They've fused 2D and 3D in such a manner that it feels incredible and almost mesmerizing to watch. It's not the age of CG that's jarring to the eyes. They blend it, I would say, nearly perfectly, or at least probably the best that I've ever seen. And it's not a lot of CG. It's just enough to make scenes really pop out when it needs to be, like these circular rotating scenes that really catch your eye. They're blending 2D and 3D together in such a manner that it doesn't phase you and it's not jarring in the slightest. And the artistic design of this show is absolutely breathtaking. I mean, the shadows, the textures they have everywhere. Look at the textures. I mean, even when he touches the background of the leaves, you can see the leaves move. It's like they didn't miss out on any single detail of this show. MAPPA put in more love and care to this show, at least episode one from what I can tell, than any anime I've ever seen in my life. I mean, this is movie grade quality in a regular show, and it's delicious for your eyes to drink in. The story and the plot are fairly easy to follow. When episode Episode 1 is essentially an origin story of how and why Chainsaw Man came to be, what the state of the world is, and introducing us to a few important characters along the way. The main character is extremely lovable, and what better way to get people invested than put some cute little dog demon Pokemon looking thing, which is important. One of the reasons for its success, I believe, as a writer is the various audiences that this appeals to. All of the guts and gore that's involved definitely appeals to the older audience, while the cute little Pochita appeals to to the younger audience, and considering Denji's age, it also appeals to, I would say, teenage to early 20s audience as well because of the demographic. It really is an anime that's going to apply to everyone. And finally, at the end of the episode, we get introduced to Makima, who is this sexy new waifu that everybody loves to cosplay, talk about, and draw pictures of. So they have met the marker in terms of the writing by series author and illustrator Tatsuki Fujimoto, which I think is partially the reason for the success of the manga. MAPPA took this to the next level. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing with all the, the textures, this animation just simply does not stop moving. And there's there's so much of it. I mean, the amount of frames in episode one alone is absolutely mind boggling. The opening is incredible and filled with all sorts of imagery and visuals that will make you instantly fall in love with the show before it's even started. The opening has homages to both Pulp Fiction and the Big Lebowski of all things. And scenes as simple as eating a slice of bread are animated and colored to perfection. I mean, this seems like a cooking anime at times. If you've seen things that Studio Ghibli has done, they make the smallest scenes stand out. And there really was never a dull moment in this entire episode. My eyes were peeled and I could not take them off the entire time. Denji will win you over almost instantly with his innocence and his bravery, as well as Pochita just simply winning over your heart with his cuteness. You feel for Denji as he lost both of his parents and now he's trying to pay off his father's debts, sacrificing his own limbs, eyes, and organs, and even one of his testicles to try and pay off this infinite pile of debt. So you feel a sense of extreme sympathy for this character, and that's when we're introduced to Makima at the end, who grants him his wish to be hugged by a girl. Automatically within the first episode, they've established so much and given so much in such a short time period that even if the animation wasn't good, this would still be an incredible story, and it is. 
But the animation and the artistic design and compositing choices are unfathomable. I mean, some of these scenes, I've never seen something like this in anime before. MAPPA is essentially dunking on every other anime studio at this point, except for Studio Period. If you guys saw the new Bleach anime episode, it was pretty freaking phenomenal. But I still have to say, I think Chainsaw Man is slightly above it. But Studio Period definitely stepped it up as well. I think we're in a new era of anime. After the final arc, of Bleach and now Chainsaw Man, the other studios are going to have to really step up their game. I know that Toei Animation has been doing a great job with One Piece, some of those episodes have been phenomenally animated, and Studio Trigger absolutely killed it with Cyberpunk Edge Runners on Netflix, but in my opinion, Chainsaw Man is the most visually striking anime I've ever seen. These animation studios are setting the bar so high now that I just feel like it's going to be impossible for new coming anime studios to compete with this level of quality. There's a scene in Chainsaw Man episode 1 where one of the Yakuza grunts offers Denji a hundred dollars or a hundred yen to eat a cigarette and Denji happily obliges because he'll take any money he can get in any way. And something as simple as this scene if you take a look at the camera angles and just even in the background as they're sitting in the car, characters are walking by the car, the subtle little details that they implement into every single scene is unfathomable. As Denji is betrayed by his Yakuza boss that he's trying to work off his debt with, Pochita fuses with him and gives him his heart, turning him into Chainsaw Man. And as they explain, humans can make packs with devils and kind of merge with each other. They can fuse as this Yakuza boss fused with the zombie devil and created an army of zombies to stab Denji to death. And it was actually pretty gruesome and horrifying to watch. This should easily be an, an R-rated anime if there ever was one. Denji turns into Chainsaw Man and that's when the animation really pops off as we get this slaughter scene as he just destroys and cuts through mountains of zombies that are attacking him. A group of zombies jump on top of Chainsaw Man and you can feel the tension building up as he literally just explodes out of them, blood going everywhere. And even the way that they color and animate the blood is like magical. They put in so much attention to detail, it's unfathomable. I'm a little curious as to if they're going to be able to maintain the standard of quality throughout the entire series because sometimes the first episode isn't really a great indicator, especially if their best animators work on episode one and then work on episode seven, for example. But I have a really good feeling here based on the trailers we've been provided that they're going to maintain this just supreme level of quality. I mean, this is a new era for anime, a new level of animation and a new level of artistic design in anime. Not only is the directing absolutely some of the best that I've ever seen, if you just take a look at the storyboards and the shots, it's just completely mesmerizing from every single angle you could ever approach. When Demon Slayer Episode 1 was launched, I watched it and I couldn't believe how good it was as they blended 3D and 2D, there was incredible artistic design, and I made a video saying that this is going to be anime of the year. I got laughed at, and guess what? it became anime of the year. So I'm telling you right here, right now, that Chainsaw Man, without a doubt, will be anime of the year. Even though we do have Attack on Titan, the final season finishing up, the final season of Bleach, Vinland Saga Season 2, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and so forth, I don't believe that anything can compete with the level that Chainsaw Man is currently. And without a doubt, it will win Anime of the Year. This is the new ultra-hype anime that everyone's going to be talking about, and celebrities eventually, once they catch on to it, will be talking about it as well, which will launch it into major stardom. And I don't know if there's going to be a huge fan base for the American market, or at least Western market off the bat, but usually what happens with things like Demon Slayer and such, once celebrities start talking about it, somebody tweets about it, that's when the impressionable youth pick it up and they're going to be absolutely flabbergasted with what they see. So if you haven't seen Chainsaw Man yet, you know what to go do. It's available right now on Crunchyroll and Verve. Honestly, I'm probably going to go watch it again, like right now, because it's just simply that good. I'm Mastar, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next week for Chainsaw Man Episode 2 review.